Uh, Constable, what's the count in the room right now? 150, we have a quorum. All right. We'll call the meeting to order. Uh, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, as, as a matter of procedure tonight, we'll be voting with our electronic uh, voting handsets. Um, you press 1 to vote yes. You press 2 to vote no. You'll have 15 seconds from the time we call for a vote on the question until the system registers the vote. If you change your mind during that 15 second period, you can do that. The system will record the last button you pressed when that time limit um, is up. Uh, you may vote only with the device that's been issued to you. Uh, you may not vote with anyone else's device, even if another voter asks you to do so. If you leave the auditorium for any reason, you must return the device in the boxes provided, and upon re-entry, show the receipt that you got when you checked in, and you'll be given a new device. And please return the devices to the boxes um, at the end of the meeting. Um, we have a test question um, that we can go just to, just to get a sense of how this works. So the question is, will the Patriots make it to the Super Bowl? And you vote one for yes, which maybe you would have voted yesterday, and two for no, if you've changed your mind. So just, just do that, and just you should see the little green light on your device uh, light up. Go ahead, you can do it now. And then the voting is closed, and we... Can you go back? Hang on one second, it's technology. Okay, and that's how that breaks down. Okay, so people still have confidence, that's good. Okay, uh, we could ask the tellers to come forward to be sworn in, please. Mr. Cullity here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you. And uh, will the clerk uh, please read the warrant? the constables of the town of Whitman. Greetings. In the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and warn the inhabitants of the town of Whitman qualified to vote in elections and town affairs to meet in the town hall in said Whitman on Monday, the second day of December 2019 at 7.30 p.m. Then in there to act upon the following articles, articles one through four. And you hereby directed to serve this warrant by posting up attested copies thereof in not less than eight public places in the town, 14 days at least before the day of said meeting. Hereof fail not and make due return of the warrant and your doings thereon to the town clerk at the time and place of holding said meeting. Given under our hands this fifth day of November, 2019, signed by the Board of Selectmen, Carl F. Kowalski, Chairman, Daniel L. Salvucci, Vice Chairman, Brian J. Bazanson, Clerk, Randy LaMatina, Member, and Justin Evans, Member. Warrant Attestation. I hereby certify that 
by virtue of written warrant, I have posted eight copies of said warrant in various sections of the town with two in each precinct dated November 7, 2019, signed by Constable Christine M. May Stafford. Thank you. All right, just a re review of uh, rules and procedures uh, for the meeting. All designated, uh, all voters must sit in the designated areas. Non-voters must seek permission for me to be here and must sit in the designated uh, section for visitors. Uh, they may not speak except on articles the moderator has given them permission to speak on. They may not vote. Tonight we're doing the electronic uh, voting um, through the handsets as, as we just went through. Um, unless there's a, a, a failure of the system, then we'll revert to uh, the old system of standing counts and so, and so forth. Um, all amendments must be submitted in writing and signed uh, by the town clerk. Uh, Massachusetts General Laws, Articles 1, 2, and 3 of the Town Bylaws and Robert's Rule of Order govern the conduct of the special town meeting. Uh, for speaking procedures, if you wish to speak, please raise your hand and wait to be recognized by the moderator. Once recognized, please stand and go to the nearest microphone. Uh, there's one on the floor here, and there's one up in the balcony there, and there, there's one over here at the podium. Um, once at the microphone, please state your name and your address and confine your comments to the article or question that is on the floor. You may not speak for a second time on an article or question until everyone who wishes to speak for the first time has done so. I'd like to recognize the Finance Committee. Uh, these folks who are sitting up front here, um, they're very important to the, the government of the town. And if you are interested in serving on the Finance Committee, uh, please uh, contact me. Uh, please silence your cell phones. And if there are no questions, do we have any questions on procedures? All right, then um, I will entertain a motion for Article 1. Motion. Article 1, to see if the town will vote to transfer $4,500 from Budget Line 172, Norfolk County Agricultural High School, of the May 6, 2019 annual town meeting to pay a prior year bill to Collins Engineers, Inc., or take any other action relative thereto. We have a motion and a second discussion. Any discussion on Article 1? Yes, ma'am. I have a question that pertains to Article 1 as well as 2. Um, as far as this money being transferred from the Aggie, uh, is this going to be like turned into a permanent transfer? I mean, is this going to leave the agricultural budget shortened next year? Is this money being turned back in? Ms. Helena? And my second question is, um, can someone explain Collins Engineers? As to question one, each year we have to make an appropriation the first Monday in May to pay for whatever students are going to Norfolk Aggie. We don't necessarily know who's going until June. So we always have to estimate a minimum of two students. Fortunately, this year um, we had one surplus student and we're just squeaking by with it but it is money that's available over and above what's appropriated, so it's a reasonable place to transfer money from. The Collins, um, trying to think of the full name, Collins Engineers, Inc. is a company that provided us with service and assistance when we had a breach in the Hobart Pond Dam and that was their professional fee. Any other questions on Article 1? All right, then uh, we can uh, proceed to a vote on Article 1. Uh, just to note that um, in order to pass, this article needs a 9 tenths majority. Are we ready to open voting? We are, we can vote. And the voting is closed. And it, 97 to 3%. Okay, is that 90? Okay, that, then it does pass. It meets the 90% threshold. The article is adopted. Article 2. To see if the town will vote to transfer $15,500 from budget line 172, Norfolk County Agricultural High School, of the May 6, 2019 annual town meeting, 
and to transfer $22,818.57 from line 57 law account of the May 6, 2019 annual town meeting, said sum of $37,918.57 to be added to the budget line 110 police chief salary to fund the salary line for the balance of FY 2020 or take any other action relative thereto. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Mr. Lynham. Mr. Moderator, I wish to amend Article 2 with respect to line 3, where it reads the sum of $37,918.57. That's a typographical. The 9 should be a 3. So it should read $37,318.57. Uh, discussion on the amendment. I'm sorry, director, comments here? Do we have a comment? Yes, sir. Is it, if you could come to a microphone, please. If you could come to a microphone, please. Yeah, let's check 36 Lance Ave. I think if you add those two numbers together, they come to 38,000 and change, not 37,000 and change. Mr. Lennon, would you like to amend your amendment? I'd like to confer with the Finance Committee. Mr. Moderator, I seek to withdraw my motion to amend. Withdrawn. I'd like to move to amend Article 2 to read 38318.57, which is the total of the $2 amounts listed in the article. We have a motion and a second. Discussion of the amendment to Article 2. All right, there being no discussion, then we'll vote on whether to amend Article 2, and we can do that now. And the voting is closed. And the amendment is adopted. So discussion of Article 2 as amended. Any discussion of Article 2 as amended? Yes, ma'am. Cindy Lanneville, 20 Harvard Street. I have a question. Um, I did ask the Finance Committee before the meeting started. This, um, just to clarify for anyone else who has a question, um, this 38318 and 57 cents. This is to pay off uh, former police chief Scott Benton's unused vacation and sick leave time. Uh, Mr. Long? 
There is no payout for sick leave for any employee under any circumstance. This was a crude vacation, accrued but not used, which he was entitled to be paid for when he terminated his service with the town. Uh, just as an observation, the Board of Selectmen voted um, a few months ago, I believe, to modify our personnel policy to limit vacation carryover to no more than nine days. So that's for future use? Correct. Okay. I was just questioning because the way the article is written, it's very confusing. It doesn't mention sick time, vacation food time, it doesn't mention anything. It's not very clear. Thank you. Other comments on Article 2 as amended? Okay, uh, there being none, uh, we can now vote on Article 2 as amended, and we can do that now. And the voting is closed, and Article 2 as amended is adopted. Article 3, to see if the town will vote to transfer $7,209 from Budget Line 57, law account of the May 6, 2019 Annual Town Meeting to be added to Budget Line 206A, Animal Control Officer of the May 6, 2019 Annual Town Meeting, or take any other action relative thereto. Motion. We have a motion and a second discussion. Mr. Line. In consultation with the Finance Committee, I am moving to withdraw this article from consideration. All right. So withdrawing? Okay. So we're, well, we're passing over Article 3 then. Okay. Article 4. To see if the town will vote to appropriate $900,000 from the sewer water retained earnings to pay $121,676,023 in addition to billing for sewage treatment for FY 2016, $88,083.70 for F for FY 2017, and the remainder to fund the costs of, for engineering and consulting services and permitting for the eventual replacement of the town sewer force main connecting Whitman Sanitary System to the Brockton Advanced Wastewater Reclamation Facility or take any other action relative thereto. Do I have a motion? Motion. And a second. Discussion? Discussion of Article 4. Yes, ma'am. 20 Harvard Street, Cindy Landeville. Um, I have a question why, why we have additional billing for FY16 and FY17. Ms. Lyon. We began renegotiating our sewer treatment agreement with the city of Brockton in 2015. We have recently, as in the last month, reached a tentative agreement on a new contract. And part of those costs are capital expenditures that we have not paid in the past that we are now responsible for. For fiscal 16, it's 121,676. For fiscal 17, it's 88083, and I expect it's going to be something very comparable to that going forward until and unless they do more project at the sewer treatment plant. We pay only a portion of the operating costs for the sewer treatment plant in Brockton. We do not pay for any other part of their sewer and water system. So does this 900000 also include um, yes. replacement? Not no, it, it includes the planning and design for the replacement. Ultimately, we're going to have to put a 16,000 foot uh, linear foot pipe in the ground to replace this pipe. And that's going to cost approximately 8.2 or 8.3 million. This is the preliminary phase. 
Any other comments on um, Article 4? Questions? Does anyone know what exactly is the total that's in this account? 4900000 and change. Thank you. Other questions on Article 4? All right, then uh, we'll move to vote on Article 4, uh, which we may do now. And the voting is closed, and Article 4 is adopted. Uh, one thing, uh, as a procedural matter, folks, um, apparently we, we do need to take a vote to uh, pass over Article 3, even though the, uh, the article has been withdrawn. Uh, we do need to take a formal vote on that. Um, so just give the clerk a minute here to put a slide together. Okay, we can, we can do that now, a, a vote to pass over on Article 3. And voting is closed, and Article 3 is passed over. Uh, I will now entertain a motion to adjourn. And we can vote on that as well. I'm thinking nobody's going to vote no, but we gotta, we got we to wait and see. And voting is ended, and we are adjourned. <laughs>